So another day, another shoot. I'm actually shooting with Steph right now. I'm kind of hyped because I haven't shot with her in a really long time. But today it's kind of like an overcast and it's 14 degrees. So we might be on some bubble jacket vibes for the shoot. Actually, if we pick them out and I get the time to edit these photos today, I'll probably go through and show you guys kind of like the outcome for this type of lighting. Because if you can see, it's like completely gray skies, barely any like warm sunlight out. So maybe it'd be interesting to see how I make do of this type of lighting. I'm super hyped today because it is leg day and I'm regaining my love for legs and trying to build my squat back up. Hopefully I feel the same way when I get to the gym tonight and it's actually time to hit squats but right now I'm feeling super hyped for that and I'm still on Jeff's program. I'm going to be running day two of the program which I think I've already gone over with you guys so I'm actually going to talk about something else while I'm doing the workout and uh, yeah we'll get into that all a little later. So we just finished shooting some photos with Steph. She was I'm just saying, I, I know. <laughs> Steph said like every six vlogs. Finally get her in the vlog. But yeah, we just shot those photos. So. And like I was saying, I was not sure how the photos would turn out because it is sort of like an overcast day, but they actually turned out Look great. She was like glowing with the, know. you know? It made me glow. Yeah, it kind of has like this soft box light outside instead of like a harsh, like washes out your skin. So yeah, that was pretty dope. And uh, Jeff's over there doing Something. things that Jeff does in the day, so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually, <laughs> yeah, I'll probably go through these photos with you guys a little later when I sit down, take some time to really edit them. I'm pretty excited to edit these because these are all looking like really good. And also Steph just hit 400,000, yeah. 400,000 subscribers. It's like, a big day, it's a big milestone. That's that's so crazy. I yeah. think when I met her, I think you were only at like 100,000. Maybe, yeah. Because yeah, so I was at 100,000 this time last year. Yeah, so. So I went from 100 to 400 that's, in a year. That's crazy growth. That's like, crazy. So crazy, Jeff too, like both of these guys are just like blowing You're next. up. I, I hope so. I hope so. Yeah, I'll go through these photos a little bit with you guys a little later. Really excited to edit these and um, kind of give you some tips on to kind of change up the vibe when it's more of an overcast than like regular sunlight photo. We're actually heading to Ohio in like a couple of days here. We're going to be going to Columbus. We're going to be meeting up with the Mountain Dog. I know you guys are probably seeing on Jeff's channel. We always do these videos with Mountain Dogs where it's kind of like a little raw, like cinematic type edit video. So I'm always hyped to do like cinematic type of stuff on the channel. I think we're going to stay with John for like three days and then we got a sick airbnb downtown for like two days columbus we're gonna be there pretty soon i'm so hype about that now that i think about it it's actually kind of sad because evil fit was actually supposed to be coming into town i think he's supposed to be coming into town next week so he's coming into town on the 20th i think he's leaving on the 24th and we're like yo that's so hype i haven't seen evo since i think the arnold but yeah i was super hyped to work out with him and patty and just all the boys getting together but i'm gonna be going from the 19th to the 24th so we're literally like missing each other by like one day so evo hopefully we get the link up soon maybe i'll see you at like la fit expo maybe i'll have to head out to sask and i'll uh, link up with you and megan so next time man i am taking my boy's new kiwi lime pre-workout i'm pretty sure this is still in stock so i mean free plug for jeff man go to p science get you some of this use this code i highly recommend it super good i am hoping that the gym is not too busy so that i can get some really good clips i mean even if it is i'm definitely still getting the clips for this vlog i'm actually thinking i'll just smash this workout and then talk to you guys about it after overlay the entire late day clip to talk to you guys about how building up this four or five squad so we just got to the gym i only have socks right now because i actually left my squat shoes down in Florida at Steph's place. So I don't even know if they're still there. I don't know what happened to those, but I need to pick up another pair of squat shoes. Cause right now I've been squatting barefoot for the last couple weeks, been like super cheap to buy shoes. So I'm thinking I'm gonna do about two to three sets of warm ups. I'm doing a six by two today with 72%. So I actually need to calculate what that is, but got my boy, David is here killing some deadlifts right now. <laughs> <laughs> so I just calculated the numbers at 72% from my one rep max and it says 212 which sounds like extremely low for a power day on 6x2 So I'm actually gonna recalculate my one rep max and kind of like overstretch what it is right now Just so I make sure I'm not training like a little bitch today. I think I'm gonna go for 315 So I'm actually gonna hit like a 225 for a 6x2, but it's only two reps So we're gonna see how the first few feel like and if I feel like I got too much energy towards the end I'll just bump up the weight
So David just gave me a tip. He actually said two things. One thing that he has told me about before that I have like a bad tendency of doing, which is breaking out my hips a little too fast. Today when I get to my six by two, I'm gonna make sure I'm working on doing that, breaking out my hips a little slower. And he actually told me not to have my wrists too far under the bar, have them a little more on top of the bar. Because when I get to have your weights, it's gonna be really bad for my wrists. Appreciate the boy giving me some tips. So we were gonna get into these working sets right now. Fuck yeah. I got about four sets left on squats and it's feeling like super easy, I can't lie. It's only 225. I'm thinking if it feels like super easy towards the last one, I'll probably bump the weight up by about 10 pounds. This is actually the eighth week of the program, so I just feel like pushing it a little bit more on the eighth week, you know? So I just finished up those squats. I actually still have some accessories to hit. Like I said, this is the last week of the Avery program that Jeff wrote me. So I think what we're gonna do with the next time that I see him or next time we work out together or something like that, I'm actually gonna do an AMRAP, kind of calculate some one rep maxes and reset all the numbers and stuff like that because things are moving around. Some things are feeling easier than they should be. So I know it's time to recalculate everything, but I'm hoping that for the next block that he could write me some more like powerlifting style stuff for the squats. Cause I am trying to build up my squat to a 405 within like the next couple months. So I don't know what it's gonna take for me to do that. I'm sure Jeff can help me out, give me some pointers on how I can kind of switch the program up to be tailored towards that goal. So you guys can keep me accountable for hitting that squat PR. And um, yeah, I'm in the video right here. If you're new, join the crew, subscribe to the channel, leave this video a like before you leave, and I'm gonna catch you guys in the next video.